Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 9 at my look at Jungle Adventures. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in this part, we're hoping to get into a another temple. Or that's the hope, at least. But for now, I'm just having Mason uh, work on his archaeology scholar, because he has to do that, of course, in Salva Dorada. So we're going to establish this third excavation site. And I think I didn't really comment on this in the last part, but this Let's Play, I'm taking a look at it with my Sim Mason, who is from my RTC The Parenthood Years Let's Play. He just sort of made, you know, appearances from time to time because the main Sim, the mom, Andy, was originally my runaway teen, and she, uh, let me just, <laughs> let me pause that thought and put him over onto the Jungle Explorer, which is actually also what I need him to do, defend against two natural dangers. Um, she was, he's her younger half-brother, and he made appearances at, towards the end of, the art of my Runaway Teen Challenge too, because she was on her own, but he sort of made an appearance later on. So he, he's the one I'm doing this with, along with his father and his fiance. But in this part, and the last couple, and the part before, they're in Selva Dorada on their own. And Mason has a little baby, or toddler I should say at this point, because he was abducted by aliens. He is a scientist. And in the last part I had to reset him because he was going to be abducted again. And of course, you know, that doesn't really fit in with exploring in Selva Dorada to end up pregnant. And I thought one alien child was enough since he is engaged and wants to get married and have kids with her. And we only have so much room in our house without mods. So they are doing this, excavating. Let me go fast, because what I want to do, what he needs to do, Mason, is I need him to be attacked. <laughs> I need him to defend against two natural dangers, and then he can assemble a mystical relic too, which I can probably set him up right here to possibly do that. Let me take a look at what he has in his inventory. I did, believe it or not, clear out a lot of stuff out of his inventory, but he has a lot of things for from excavating and also from being a scientist. So this is a Watcher Relic base. Does he have, and this is a Chaos Relic base. Does he have a Death Relic base? That's my question. That's what I want him to have. But, you know, we can always look for that later. So I'm going to merge, have him fuse, I should say, fuse that with, well, all he has is a totem column relic. He doesn't have any relics. He doesn't actually have very much in his inventory in terms of that. That's not really the best one. I can't remember the name of it, but it's the one that's like the cat. That gives you some really good things. The totem column might be the one if you combine it with the death. I'll have to look. I can't, I don't have them all memorized yet, what they all do, but I know, uh, some of them are pretty bad, <laughs> I have to say. And then you, after you assemble them, you add a crystal to it. And depending on whether the crystal element, I should say, what is not crystal, refined, refined crystal to it. And the common ones like have the weakest impact and then the uncommon ones have sort of a in between. And then the rare ones give the biggest impact of whatever it is that you get, be it a blessing or a curse, because you can do either. Is he being? No, he's not being. A <laughs> he, they excavated that whole thing and neither of them got uh, attacked. Maybe they don't get attacked as much out here. I don't really know. I have to say, when I was looking there, that looks like the flower, but you can't actually plant or get that flower. So it does look like they have it on the trees, but it's not there. So let's go over. He's, is he making something to eat? What are you making? I would have thought you had maxed your cooking skill. But you're getting cooking skill. You're grilling a pot of campers. Oh, you're hungry. Well, we'll let you grill that, and then we can always bring that with us, even though it'll go bad. I did bring a barbecue with us, as I pointed out in the last part. So there's the sign, which will tell you, you know, warnings about what can happen. Of course, Mason has maxed his gardening skill, so he can clear it with his hands. And, oh look, he hasn't maxed his cooking skill, Joel. I think Mason does most of the cooking now that I think about it. I'm trying to think where Mason, well I can look here. He has maxed his cooking and his gourmet cooking. <laughs> but he does have the, uh, he, I, I've played him since he was a toddler and he did get the, the, the um, top-notch toddler trait, is what I mean to say. 
So I'm going to take that and stick it in his inventory, though it's not going to be good for very long because they, they expire. <laughs> you can't put them in the coolers, unfortunately. So he will eat that, and we'll check on Mason and how he is doing with this. So let's go fast because we really want to get through this. Uh-oh. Always... I think that's why I, it's less distracting when you have the uh, the Sims not <laughs> in your family panel there. They you just assume they're being looked after. But I see he's angry, my little Caden. Okay, well he doesn't have any here. Uh, the last one, carnivorous vines. A glint catches Mason's eye, and he spies something shiny in the middle of the patch of vines. As he approaches, he notices that the vines seem to move menacingly, and that the torn old boots sits among them. Is it evidence of another traveler who wasn't so lucky? Should Mason attempt to retrieve the shiny object or leave the hostile plants alone? Well, we don't have a plasma bait because he doesn't really need it. <laughs> but uh, if you retrieve the treasure, higher gardening skill leads to better results. And he has maxed his gardening, so we'll retrieve the treasure. So, Sim eating plant. Mason has heard rumors of Sim eating plants, but has never seen one in real life. According to his horticultural knowledge, the plant stuns the victim using a poison gas released from the tip of the vines. Vines. Mason carefully avoids the dangerous area of the plant. The treasure is his. So he got whatever the treasure is, and so he is here. So let's see. Are you finished eating? So this one I think was locked last time to us when we were here, if I remember correctly. And um, I think, yeah, because if we go over here and across the bridge, this is what's going to get us to the, and then over and further along, this is what's going to get us into the, you know, the next area is the temple. So you know what, since I haven't actually, I don't know if I've been through this one, because I think this one is often locked for me, I'm going to take him and have him clear his path with hands there. And Joel, are you done? You are done. I don't know what you're doing. Practice singing. You know how to do. You need to establish some excavation sites. So let's see, there is an excavation site there, but we want you to establish one. So we're going to have you come here and survey for a dig pile. So I noticed Chloe is tense. She needs some fun. I hope these are, they're looking out and he's, he's hungry. So hopefully he gets some food. I'll have to keep a little bit of an eye on him. Because I may have to swap back and look after him. And, uh, but I will cut that out if I have to do that. So we're going to establish an excavation site. And don't you get attacked, because I need Mason to be attacked. <laughs> Not Maybe I should have him doing the searching through, because he needs, he doesn't need to be uh, attacked, but he still does need to establish two more sites. This is one of those two more sites. So how are you doing, Mason? Oh, here we go. We got the carnivorous vines again. So of course, we'll retrieve the treasure once again. We got the same results, and we are through. So now, have oh, I have been here. It's the plain site. Oh, oh, he's getting defend. He's having to defend. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what I need him to do. <laughs> and Susie Max is a logic skill. He can get. He essentially has all the skills he needs to be. <laughs> And, of course, the mystical relic didn't count, because not only do you have to do what he did. Oh, look, we got we got a gold calendar plate, and we got another one. So that's actually really, really good to get through. And you get, like, this one was worth 8000 and then this one was worth 10000 He has done very, very well. <laughs> not that they need the money, as you can see. Like, they're, like, just loaded with money. So I think you may as well come over here. I know you established that, but we have a site here. And you can come here and establish one here. And then that will finish that one. And then that's all we really need to do for him right now. So first, before you defend, try and defend, we're going to try. No, you're just going to go look at that. You can look at that all you want. So where is that relic? So here it is. We are going to insert the uh, common one of those common ones. And let's see, where is he? So there, it's all glowing. You can see it. And he's put it back in his inventory. I don't actually want to use it now because I can't remember what it does, but I think it doesn't do anything good. So I don't want to use it on himself and I don't want to use it on Joel. <laughs> I'll use it on someone else. Plus, you don't actually use it till you get to the, to the um, next level of this, I think. 
So he's on two of four. I can't remember. Let's take a look at Joel because he's done that. And let me look at his nature one because they're both kind of working. So he's on here. We'll just look here. Oh, no, he is on. He's done two of four. So he's on three of four. So the last one is the one where you do have to activate a mystical relic five times. So he is actually where I think he is on the last one. And, and, and Mason is on the third one. So why don't you just dig? <laughs> why don't you excavate or dig as I like to call it? And once he see, because of course, for Mason, had he already done this, those things that he got when he went through, that would have counted for the finding the uh, prizes. Because he has to open the the special, so he essentially you have to go to three temples. Because you gotta do that temple at the end. And so here's the mood let you get here from being at the plain site. Hit the high point from reaching a high point in the jungle. Reaching new heights makes one feel they can accomplish anything two hours so yeah it's funny how I just don't remember which ones I've been in before I'm getting a little bit it's a little bit like of a maze when you come in here but I'm starting to recognize them a little bit better so now I'll know for sure that this was the one that I've been in this is the one that gets you to the plane crash so Mason got a vase you know Mason you really need to be attacked <laughs> that's what I need to have happen for you let's go a bit faster are you getting a bit hungry wrong Oh, we got another totem column relic, which we don't really, <laughs> I don't really care about. He is getting hungry. So I'm going to go over here into Joel's inventory and grab the food, see if it's any good. I'm pretty sure I dragged it into his inventory. There it is. It's five hours and 25 minutes. So we're going to switch that over to Mason. And Mason can <laughs> keep going back and forth. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to find one of the chairs I have in his inventory. Like, I've got lots of stuff. He got a vase. And then we're going to let him place this in the world and grab a serving of that food wherever it got put in his inventory. So he got a unauthenticated statue. They're just digging up lots of things. So I'm going to let them keep digging and just sort of keep it like this and when and if Mason actually gets attacked, I will be back. Yay, he's being attacked. <laughs> he finished excavating and he sat down to eat and then he got attacked by bees right after Joel got attacked by bees. <laughs> so he's going to keep eating and he's thinking of his niece. So you can go back to excavating. So that means that Mason is now on the last tier of this jungle explorer where he needs to activate a mystical relic five times, find five Omniskin treasures, which the two that he got going through the portals would have counted towards or should have counted towards, and open three rare Omniskin treasure chests. And of course, to open a treasure chest, you need to go through to open the rare one, they're, they're like the main one, the big, big one at the end of the temple. So he has to go into temples three times, which because we had never been, you know, he couldn't find the spot off the path before we got to the temple. That was part of the reason why he, why Joel's actually had on this because he's opened one of them when we did the last, the first temple. So what did he get? He got 282 simoleons and he put some adventure gear in his inventory. He looks like he got a waterfall in a bottle, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm seeing new in his inventory. Oh well, it's not like they're cheap. So he's done with that. Is there anything else? I didn't mean for it to scroll me out so much. I don't know what's going on. Okay. That's fine, so we're going to excavate. Because we need to find some more things. We'll just finish excavating this. I think that's it for this spot. I'll look around. We'll let them finish doing this. And then we're going to go back to the other spot. And go over the bridge. And into the next area. And I'm going to have Joel do that again. Just in case he gets a treasure that uh, will fit into this category. So I will be back when we're about to go over the bridge.
It's day now, and I am going to try and have Mason teleport here, because he's at the other side of this clearing. So I do find it does take a little bit of time, like I mentioned, either in the last part or right here, to do the teleporting versus using a teleport sheet. It's like instant, but I find, oh, he looks like he's going to be attacked. Is he going to be attacked when he gets there, or is he going to be attacked over there? He didn't make it, because instead he got attacked by spiders. Of course, when I wanted him to be attacked, <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> but when I didn't want him to be attacked, he is. So let's try a lot again, because that interfered with him teleporting over here. Let's try that. Teleport. I'm going to go fast. It's 723. Let's see. Does he actually get there? Can he get there? <laughs> there we go. Took about... 15 minutes still to get over here so I'm not sure that it's really much faster <laughs> to teleport I would have to try like I would have to see if I took Joel what is his problem oh he's very tired so you can come over here I'm gonna just have you go here you don't have the ability to teleport yet so we'll see it's 749 in the morning if we get through then maybe uh <laughs> Maybe he should just drink a few cans of the liquid rush that I had him uh, buy so that he doesn't need to go to sleep. But it takes a few of them, as we've noticed in the past, because they don't actually fill up. Not like the waterfall in a bottle, which completely clears them. And now where are they? I know I had him buy some. That's the uh, Faraday Fizz. I could have sworn, unless I had Mason buy them with the intention of giving them over to... Oh, looks, is he done? No, he's not quite done. Either that or I'm just, you know, missing them when I'm flipping through too quickly through all their contents of their inventory. I'm thinking that's what's happening. Yeah, there they are. Liquid Rush. We'll put them over into Joel's inventory. Here we go. So we have an abandoned pack and Mason stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly, a previous adventure has been through here as there remains a small, there's the remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There might still be something valuable inside or something dangerous should he investigate. We're going to search for useful gear. I'm not really necessarily expecting anything too spectacular out of this. He has maxed his logic skill. I didn't have his skills up there, but I know he has. So he found some use so he he inspected and he suspects a creature may have taken up residence he grabs a nearby stick and starts carefully probing the pack a poisonous scorpion crawls out and scampers away into the jungle he digs through the pack and finds some useful gear inside so he doesn't get a treasure out of that he just gets some useful gear so let me go over onto mason's side and let's see is that anything or is that just you know the usual when you go through that you see stuff let me see. Uh, I'm curious what's locked this time. There's This is unlocked. That is unlocked. I hope the temple's not there. I care. We're going to go through. But it looks like I'm guessing our favorite fishing spot there is locked this time where we caught the frogs. <laughs> so we're going to have him just let's see how long it takes him to get over here. I'm going to just no, so I'll just see how long it takes him. And we're going to bring him. <laughs> Don't sleep in the bush. He'll just be uncomfortable from that. And there's the liquid rush. And so he did have a couple in his inventory, but he didn't have a lot. And then you're going to drink and have another one. And then that food's probably bad by now. So just eat some of the food you have in your inventory. That's why I left it. That's contributing to why their inventory is so full. Plus, they've been digging, so they've got some more things from when they digged. Dug. <laughs> Not digged. <laughs> so when they dug. So his hunger is getting there. His energy is not quite restored. So let me go back into his inventory. We'll let him eat another. We'll let him eat an apple and drink one more of these liquid rushes. So it took about three from the looks of it to get through the whole thing, to get through all of that. And he, oh, he must have got that liquid rush from the pack. 
Okay, we got quicksand. He stumbles and drops his bag of personal effects. Plop right into a pack of patch of quicksand. Should he reach in and try to get it or let it go? We are going to uh, get it because he has high logic skill. So he looks nearby for something that would help. Grabbing a stick, he carefully perches on the edge of the quicksand. He hooks the stick under the strap of the bag and pulls hard. The bag pops free of the sand and the force of the pull causes him to fall back right into a hidden cache cash cash of adventure gear so he got more adventure gear so he didn't get anything special we'll bring joel with us i'll be back so we've made it to the temple and i realized our part has gone on this part has gone on quite long or long enough i should say so we are going to leave it here and we will be back i will be back next time when we explore the temple and we'll find out whether it's the same configuration as last time or if it's a new configuration and hopefully we'll get through it all in the next part i'll just cut some stuff out just to make sure we do get through the whole thing in the next part but that will be it for this part thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time bye this has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!